Now you've got the first card is material harvest. So uh, it, looks, it looks like whatever you've been working with or working on is now about to pay off. You are ending in a cycle of maybe, you know, you had to work really hard to accumulate these finances and maybe there was a lot of lack. Um, you know, you had a lot of problems and now that cycle is now coming to an end. Uh, it looks like you have achieved, you know, um, your um, material success but also financial independence as well. So whatever job you've been doing has been providing that with, for you. You've been praying about it as well. So you have been asking for guidance, uh, spiritual guidance, and this is coming your way. So this is, you know, taking that control, being independent financially and achieving success. So you've got the authority card over here, and this is about taking control of that situation. So you might be, um, whatever you're working at, you might be in some kind of leadership position. You are managing your resources or you are managing resources of some sort and taking control. So whatever you're doing, you're in very much in a leadership position. And you've got the spiritual strength card over here. So this is, uh, you know, showing that you are bigger. Whatever people are seeing, they're seeing you as bigger than, you know, you are um, bigger than what you are. In, you know, they're seeing that potential in you. So whatever you're doing, you know, you're getting yourself out of a difficult situation and you're doing it by sheer strength of will. This is also about, you know, using your psychic abilities because you've got the third eye uh, chakra activated over here. So this is, you know, getting those big visions and knowing what to do uh, for that future. Um, this is also, this is like the nine of rods, um, which is about, uh, you know, standing your ground, defending yourself, making sure people know where you're coming from. Remember, having fought a lot of battles, you are now a force to be reckoned with. So in the past, you've got the rejoice and celebration. So you might have been meeting a lot of friends, uh, you know, going out, reconnecting with people that are on an emotional level. So even just going out and having a good time, that seems to have been happening. And you've got the temperance card of your own. This is the balance card here, which is 11, which is um, uh, the justice card, really. So maybe there was some kind of legal situation that you actually dealt with, uh, with this card. Um, you know, and you're finding, uh, maybe people are getting what is due to them and you're, you're getting to see that as well. So there might be some karmic justice in, uh, you know, going in your favor. Uh, you're seeing things, um, you know, uh, turning out to be fine, uh, you know, uh, you're getting that balance back again. Um, maybe there's also some kind of legal decision that was made and you're having a celebration about it. So this could be that whatever that legal decision that you were facing uh, ended up being uh, very positive and going in your favor. So things definitely going in your favor. So going into the future, this could also mean that, you know, because of that legal decision, you could have had some kind of financial payout from it. That meant that, you know, um, you're celebrating it, financial payoff, um, and, um, you know, uh, it's giving you a lot more authority. Now, the Emperor card as well, uh, you know, just going forward, is also about judgment. So this is also legal decisions being made in your favor as well. So the Emperor also deals with legal decisions. So there could be that, you know, you're waiting for some kind of a legal decision involving money, and it looks like, you know, you will... It will go in your favor because there is a material harvest at the end that gives you that financial independence. You've got fertility as well coming in over here, which is the Empress card of here. So whatever that finance comes in allows you to be financially independent and it allows you to move forward in life. So things are starting to look up. You are getting that material success coming in. And then the heart chakra coming in as well, which is talking about healing of the body. In all these, in this card and this card, you've got the heart chakra being activated in both these. So whatever this news is, whatever this decision is, it's going to bring you a lot of healing uh, and a lot of peace of mind. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, it's going to be something that is of benefit for you. And it's going to make you very independent as well. So uh, whatever this, whatever, if it's legal news that is coming in, legal decision, there is celebration and there is success after that as well. And it leads to a lot of healing as well. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Ascension of Tower of Ascension 2012. <laughs> so um, I have shuffled this deck, and it is in the description box if you want to see what is coming in. Okay. Oops. Now at the bottom of the deck, you've got uh, the Six of Swords over here. So you have gone through a lot of difficulties, and you are now moving away from it. And there could have been legal difficulties, because the Swords is about legal problems that you've been facing. So there may have been a lot of um, drama 
and you had to face a lot of uh, you know problems uh, from a legal point of view uh, you know official kind of point of view you might have been dealing with people maybe with that you work with uh, maybe contracts or, or documents that were not really uh, that caused a lot of anxiety and stress and it caused you to be very very upset about the situation but you are now moving away from it and uh, you will be, um, you know, moving to a much calmer, safer area. So whatever happened in the past, you know, it caused a lot of turbulence, a lot of turmoil, a lot of information coming in over here um, that was upsetting. And now you are now moving away from it. So what's happening with you? You've got the Ace of Pentacles over here and you've got the King of Wands over here. So here you are being offered a new job, really, a new enterprise starting. So it looks like something brand new coming in for you as far as money goes. And it looks like there's an offer coming in for you uh, for work, a new enterprise coming in as well. So something brand new coming in, a new offer, somebody making something to you and you starting something. And it's going to be in a position of authority as well. So you're going to be in charge of this particular project if you're starting a new job. Now, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. It seems like, you know, you invested a lot of effort and energy into some kind of uh, position, some kind of situation uh, where, you know, that involved money, because Pentacles is about money and finances and about material wealth. And it looks like it didn't pay off. And now you're walking away from it. So uh, you've just abandoned it. You've taken your ideas and, and you're moving on. So whatever you were working on is not paid off for you. It's upsetting. You may have had to leave people behind and move forward. And you are now letting it go and moving forward. You've got the Nine of Pentacles, so this is that financial independence and, uh, you know, being, um, so there was some kind of, you know, you achieved that uh, success, you achieved the recognition and it gave you some uh, payoff. So it was a good earning that you were making um, and it seems like, you know, maybe you've ended a cycle of work. Uh, and this is, you know, you were paid off, you were finished, you're finished off with that. Because the nines are about ending cycles and it's given you that in, you know, financial independence. You can see there's a little chest here uh, which had money in it so it looks like there was something that came in for you gave you the recognition and gave you a payoff and you earned pretty well and it made you very financially independent but it looks like you're leaving that behind and you're going to start something new because there's a new offer that is coming in as far as the work front goes so you've got the five of swords over here you can see whatever you were dealing with whatever you're working with there was a lot of problems over here because you've got the six of swords so whoever you're working with in this previous job or wherever you're working if you're ending this job at the moment uh, there was a lot of fighting arguments problems uh, disagreements people taking advantage of you people being vindictive because the five of swords is all about that it's about terrible communication awful people to work with and you know when they stab you you know they they stab to kill kind of um, scenario so you were dealing with a very very difficult situation you will be moving away from it from that six of swords so you are in transition at the moment you are maybe you in between jobs right now but you have turned your back on that you're not accepting any more communication from that particular arena as well so the six of cups over here is maybe bumping into somebody from the past and working with them this looks like there's some kind of offer from somebody that you worked with in the past or that you knew in the past um you know they always say that six of swords is about you know children but this looks like there's some kind of offer coming in and this person recognizes uh you know your talents and how good you are so you might get some kind of offer from somebody that you worked with in the past and you will work with them again so going into the future, you've got the Eight of Cups. You can see people not listening to this. Uh, these two men. They're giving it up. They're just you know throwing in the towel and they're moving forward. So you know just raising your hands and saying, right, I had enough now and I'm about to move on, uh, because people are not accepting what I have got to say and I am not willing to deal with that kind of situation anymore. So it looks like you know there was lots of problems. You're turning your back on it. You, you you've, you've given up uh, trying to um, you know pander to everybody else's needs and you're going to be moving forward. And it looks like there's a new doorway that is opening over here because the the curtains are being pulled back the veil is being pulled back and you are allowed being allowed to move forward so whatever you're you've been dealing with it looks like this new opportunity comes in and allows you to move away from it it presents it's now the um it's the exit from uh you know dealing with after dealing with a lot of unhappy people or people that were very much against you it's now you know um universe seems to be offering you or somebody seems to be giving you an offer in order for you to be able to move on from the situation and you can see there are two people two men over here and you've got that six of cups over here so this could be somebody that you know a friend a very good friend somebody that you've worked with in the past that you're going to be moving on forward with 
um, you know, leaving an old situation behind and moving forward. So you've got this difficult decision to make about what to do. So you've got a choice that is coming up as far as your work goes, whether to accept this offer or not. It looks like, you know, you're going to get some kind of, kind of communication about this offer that's been given to you. Maybe this man over here or this person, this king of wands, sending you some kind of letter and you're reading through it or going through information and having to make a decision. Uh, and also trying to decide how much you want to earn. Um, you know, it's almost like you are going to be given a choice about how much you would like to be paid. So it's about money and balancing about that as well. So something coming into you, for you and some, you know, in the form of some kind of written uh, communication coming and this offer being given to you and you needing to make a decision. Now you're worried, uh, this is your hopes and fears, and what you want is to be happier and you, know, you want to be able to work with people that you connect with, with this Three of Cups. And you want to celebrate a success as well. And you, know, you can see this person is almost waving goodbye to these people. So you want to let go of the past, move forward, or maybe even get together with old friends. So maybe you do want uh, to work with these people that you've worked with in the past because it makes you happier. So you don't want to be in the situation that you're unhappy and this is what you are afraid of, that, you know, if you start something new, you might not be able to get along with the people that you're working with. Now, you've got the Ten of Wands, the Magician, and the World card. So these two cards, the World and the Ten of Wands, is um, coming to the end of a very, very difficult cycle. And having learned a lot, you might have been working and traveling at the same time as well. It was a very burdensome situation. It looks like you're leaving it behind and exiting it Exit, exiting from it uh, but it looks like there was a lot of problems that you felt with you had a lot of responsibilities you're now walking away from it you can see the cloud the sky is very very cloudy over here so a lot of problems that you dealt with here and with the world card that cycle is coming to an end so the world card is ruled by saturn you learned a lot of lessons you're almost like a teacher there's a guru card over here but you're now starting off on this new journey over here. you can see this road is open for you so your path is opening up you're ending an old cycle and you're moving forward what you have is a very unique talent that only you can give to the world so this is what you have come out of this difficult situation with and then you've got the magician card over here which is manifesting things so you're going to be very very busy soon communication this is about mercury and this is about communication communicating with a lot of people doing a lot of things multitasking and you're going to be starting something brand new because the magician is about starting afresh and moving on and your path here as well very very clear so things are starting to change you're, you've ended old cycles you're in between phases at the moment but you are leaving behind difficult situations and it looks like there's a new offer coming in as far as the work front or money front goes so i'm just going to draw some cards uh from the um angel tarot And the first card is the world card that's fallen. And this says, uh, a job well done, joy and contentment and gratitude, a pathway towards enlightenment. So you have finished the cycle. This is all over and you are going to be moving forward. And like I said, with the world card, it's about unique talents. Uh, you know, maybe signing new contracts as well. And maybe you're going to be doing some world travel too. You've got the five of fire. So competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So you are still facing, you know, situations where um, you are dealing with people that are not really... Uh, you know, your cup of tea, you don't get along with them, they don't get along with you. They have their opinions, you have yours. So, uh, and also maybe whatever new job you're coming into, it's got a lot of competition. You're going to be facing a lot of people. So you've got to be uh, the best at what you do and present yourself as the best of it, of the best. Now, you've also got the Six of Cups or Six of Water over here. So memories of or history of childhood, um, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. Now, this could be dealing with, you know, family issues in itself. But like I said, you know, you've got two of these cards, the Six of Water and the Six of Cups over here. So maybe getting together with people that you've worked with in the past or meeting up with people or friends from the past, reuniting and working with them. Uh, but whatever it is, you are revisiting the past in some sort of way. It's emerging again. Uh, and, you know, uh, maybe even thinking about the past. But I think this is more an action card. So I think, you know, you're going to bump into somebody from the past or you're going to be working with somebody that you met in the past you bump into them quite accidentally maybe an old friend and they bring you an offer uh, so that could well be the case maybe that old friend brings you a new job offer or brings you uh, you know prospect of new money so I hope that this reading has resonated with you. It seems like you're moving away from things of the past going forward. And, uh, you know, you're in a little bit of transition phase at the moment, but that will soon shift and you will start moving on to something better. 
So I hope that this has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.